hello, hello, Facebook Friday. How's it going? Almost five o'clock. That means a lot of you will be heading out, maybe meeting up with some friends, maybe just getting off work, ready to have some fun. And so am I, but I have a quick few minutes. I wanted to pop in on this Facebook Live. Been on fire this week. I hope you've been on fire as well with whatever you're doing in your life. And I hope it's working for you. Hello, Christopher, McKinley, Desmond, everyone who's popping in really quickly on this Facebook Live. And the question that I put at the top of this is really asking you, are you in the shift? And, and by in the shift, what I really mean by that is, are you in a place where you are looking to get to a higher level and you're in this shift, shifting zone is what I'm going to call it, between the old you and who you were and what you did as that identity and the new identity that you hope to and are working to hopefully evolve into. When I talk about identity, what am I talking about? Who you are, what defines you, your characteristics. And so many of us, in order to get to that next level, I don't know anyone who doesn't end up in that shifting zone. So what do I mean? I'm really visual. So I'm going to just do a quick, really quick, not art, art or anything, okay? But I'm going to make this quick little thing. So here's what it is, right? We've got the old identity ready to get into that new identity and really embrace it. What do we expect as we travel along this journey? Sometimes our expectations, quick and easy, we expect that just because we want to become this new person who does greater things and has higher impact and, and really that person that we believe that we're meant to be, why we're on this earth, our real purpose, we think sometimes that shift will be quick and easy. But what it really takes, right? You can love my art here. Hello, Michael, you're in the shift. I'm in the shift is what Michael is saying. Okay, Michael, I love it. I love it. Embrace that you're in the shift. What does this mean when we want to go from that that old identity to the new identity. We have to embrace the shifting zone. It may be uncomfortable. It probably will be uncomfortable because it's uncharted territory for you. So the expectation, when we expect, hey, I might feel that it's pretty uncomfortable right now. That's okay. Just embrace that. What else will it mean for you? It might mean that you have to look at who's in your inner circle. Oh, and that's not something that we always want to do, right? Who's in your inner circle? Who's in your ear? What self-doubt or what encouragement are they planting? So maybe that means reviewing that inner circle, who you're letting in. Also might mean that you really need to look at your self-discipline to become this new identity. Self-discipline, maybe it means you have to get up earlier. Maybe you have to go to bed earlier so that you can... Hey, Desmond, you're in the shift. Okay, right. Embrace it, Desmond. I love it. That self-discipline, though, is so important because we may have to change how we're operating, right? We have to get rid of some of those toxic habits that we have. Look, this is not fancy, but I'm just getting the point across here, giving you all some value on this Friday. I've only got a few minutes. But I wanted to get this across, toxic habits, things that are not serving you as you try to become this new person, right? So all of these things requiring you to review yourself and really have that self-awareness to say, what steps can I take to improve to be better than I was yesterday in order to shift into that new identity, in order to really have that higher impact? higher fulfillment. And I'm not just talking about speaking. I'm not just talking about your story. I'm talking about whatever you want to elevate to. Maybe you want to start a business, right? Maybe that's centered around a, a mission that you have and a message. Maybe that's what it is. Well, you starting that business still requires you to review all of these things, your inner circle, self-discipline, toxic habits. Maybe you've got some great habits that you need to amplify and do more of. So quick, we want to try something new, but maybe you just need to do more of some of the great stuff and less of some of the stuff that's just not working for you. It's not serving you anymore. Hello, 
ready to transform. Your Galim says, Michael, there we go, changing your surroundings, right? That environment. And that goes back to still that inner circle too. They're part of your environment. You know, your friends, they're part of your environment. So when we try to make the shift, why do we expect it to always be easy? If it was easy, everyone would get there. And here's the thing, here's the catch. And like I said, I only have a minute or two left for this because I gotta hop on a call, but many people don't reach this new identity because they get pulled into the shifting and feel stuck, discouraged, and get back to the old ways that are more comfortable because it's challenging sometimes to be in the shift the shift right here, right? But if you can make it through this shift, and it might take you a month, six months, one year, five years, who cares? Honestly, if you are still pushing against the resistance to go to the old, and you are moving one step closer to the new, you are winning. You just gotta keep doing it, keep staying with it. Don't get discouraged because this is where people tend to give up. So I'm here to tell you to expect that there will be some resistance here because it is so much more comfortable to be that old, that old identity. But when you're ready to transform and, and really move into that new, expect that there's gonna be some mess there, right in the middle, <laughs> as I have it right here. Uh, hello, hello, Clinton. Hello, everyone who's joining us here. So I wanted to come on really quickly. I'm clearly not an artist, but I did want to do this for you some quick visuals. If this resonated with you at all, you want to talk more about this, shoot me a message. Let me know where you're at right now. And, and let me just see where you are in this journey. And if there's any way that I can help you as you're making this shift to this person, this identity that you want to become, right? 2019 is around the corner. It's time to start planning, time to get moving in that direction that you want to be in the new year or maybe even tomorrow. All right, talk to you later. I hope you all have a wonderful Friday. Yeah, bye. <laughs>